Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for you. Yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? Hopefully, y'all are having an amazing day today, man. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Linen. Now, before we even get started, guys, look, getting Yeezys, getting shoes, like getting shoes, period, has been definitely a lot harder i know a lot of people has been asking me in my dm about this specific specific sneaker but just shoes in general no matter what they are listen it has been very hard getting your hands on shoes man because you have to understand everybody is at the house okay it's quarantine Ever since the quarantine started, everybody is at home. So usually when you get a break and you try to like go online and buy you a pair of sneakers, some people at work, some people are at practice, some people just doing anything. There is nothing to do. Like there is literally nothing to do. So obviously if you have nothing to do and you like sneakers, or even if you don't like shoes, if you just want to do something, here it is. Here's your chance to do it. So yes, I do think that this release will be a little tougher. And to be honest, a lot of the potential releases that's coming up because also the uh, Air Jordan 6 DMPs will be coming out this weekend. And even though that shoe is like a whole other story. If you guys want to know uh, how to cop the DMP 6s, man, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll drop that video too. But I wanted to do the Yeezys because the Yeezys are like, I don't know. These, these are a little bit more exclusive in my opinion. I feel like everybody already has the DMPs. But it's still some stuff to know about those as well. So, anyways, if you came to watch this video, you're definitely going to get a lot of knowledge. Because this is not your regular how to cop. Because it's it's this like quarantine edition, man. Everybody is at home, and that's very important because everybody's trying to go for the same sneaker as you, and uh, they do. I'm talking about record-breaking numbers. So if any of you guys was not able to check out my last video where I did a video on live copping the Yeezy 700 V3s, check that out because that shows you a lot of what might be happening very very soon. I tried on Adidas.com and Yeezy Supply. This one was a lot more limited than. The 350 v2 it's another yeezy yes it's another 350 and i know we're, we kind of like tired of the same silhouette but it sells the shoe sales sells the sneaker still sells so it does have some leeway you know what i'm saying people still want this shoe so there is still a want and need for the 350 hour and there was so many people on adidas.com i got through four different times and my payment declined four different times not because of the card you know what i'm saying your boy snipe i ain't that broke you know what i'm saying it declined because it was so many people in there purchasing or or in the lobby or or on the freaking website so many people that it wasn't even accepting payment so many people uh commented down below and told me they had the same problem so hopefully they fixed that because that was terrible but like i said man this video will give you like the best tips and trades on how to pick up your pair of yeezys they will be releasing this weekend april 18th for the retail price of 220 dollars and that's the standard resale or standard retail price of your yeezy 350 v2 Hey y'all, here we have a huge package. Not gonna hold you a huge package from a company I've been working with for a while, but there is a lot of new and exciting news I wanna tell you guys about. So as I open this up, I want to tell you that if you have not, listen up, okay, listen up. Listen guys, they have reinvented the entire website, the colorway, the packaging, everything over at Rejuvenator is 100% different. And they sent over this huge care package. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff just so you can get back familiar with it because it's so much stuff that they've changed. First off, we have the Rejuvenator solution. So it's no longer like that big blue bottle that you guys are used to. It's this nice clear bottle, okay? It's a clear bottle and it's just more elegant. In my opinion, it's more modern, okay? So we got the Rejuvenator solution here. We also got the laundry washing system, okay? So for when them shoes are very very dirty and you have to throw them in a washing machine no longer do you just throw your shoes in a bag and pour your own washing powder in it. they have their own pods you know i like ties got the tie pods they have these pods that you just throw them in a washing machine just like you washing clothes and they have their own packaging very very dope very dope next up in here man we have one of my favorites which is the shoe cleaning kit, as you guys can see that rejuvenator on there, I know like my lights is pretty bad, but if you can see the rejuvenator on there, this is the new logo. This is the new modern logo that they're choosing to go with. And this right here is the shoe cleaning kit. It comes with all of your standard, whether it be the solution, uh, the brush, you know what I'm saying? And it definitely gets the job done. Now this is the only cleaner that I use and I appreciate it to you guys because I get asked all the time. And more importantly, man, I just wanna make sure that anything I put my name on, anything I co-sign to is something I definitely believe 
believe in. And I've been using Rejuvenated products before I even started the YouTube channel. So definitely, if you guys have any grails out there, if you have any shoes out there that needs cleaning, definitely use Rejuvenated. Before you go ahead and buy it, guys, my link is down below to Rejuvenated. If you screenshot me any of your purchases using my link, I will shout you out. Whether it be on Instagram, Twitter, you send it to me, and I'm going to show love to you for showing love to me. I just want to thank you guys in, a, in advance because y'all be buying this Rejuvenator up fast. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all. All my real ones out there, I appreciate it. All right, guys. So a few things that you need to know about this release is the obvious, okay? Where are these releasing? And unlike the 700 V3s that dropped last weekend, these are dropping a lot more places. Just to be on point, I pulled out the phone just so I wouldn't miss any because there are a lot of places. So when it comes to where to buy, these are dropping on finish line, shake. We don't have a shake. I'm not sure if you pronounce it shake or chic. I'm sorry about that. We don't, we don't have one here in Atlanta. Uh, s and S will be doing a raffle. JD Sports will have it. A lot of you guys might know uh, Finish Line kind of switched over to JD Sports, so that's another one. DTLR will have these. Foot Locker, Foot Action, Adidas, Yeezy Supply, and then even when it comes to raffles, there are a few raffle spots that I recommend. One being s, &S. Another one being, uh, I don't see that one on here though. Okay, yeah, there it goes. End, end Raffle is is another one of those most popular raffles and I do know people who've won from N before. And the last one that I know about that I'll put my name next to is BSTN. So those are three of the raffle spots and all of the websites that you can possibly purchase from, which is Foot Locker, Foot Action, DTLR, JD Sports, uh, Shake or Chic, I'm sorry about that. Um, Yeezy Supply, Adidas, East Bay, and Champs. I don't think I mentioned those two, but those are all of the websites that will be live. Now, usually when it comes to any releases on a Saturday, everything except Yeezy Supply, okay? That's his own entity. We're gonna get to Yeezy Supply later. But when it comes to all of the main retail stores, they usually always release at 10 o'clock, okay? 10 o'clock, they will release, like I said, retail price of $220 that Saturday morning. So if you're interested in buying these, which I know a lot of people are, just make sure you up early. You want to make sure you're not like super slow, super laggy, because like I said, everybody's at home. These will be, I don't want to say hard, but don't think just because they're Yeezys, man, and everybody's tired of 350s, nobody's going to pick these up. It's going to be a lot of people. It's a lot of people in the world. You got to think, like, when you go to a store, that store is domesticated to your city. The website is open to the world, bro. So people in Detroit are going to be trying to get the same shoe. When you live in Atlanta, you got to go against people in Atlanta. You get it? Like, if you got to go get a pair from Linux Mall, the only people you have to worry about is people who's coming to Linux Mall. When you're shopping online, you have to worry about the dude from freaking Singapore stealing your pair. That's just, that's just, that's just surreal. So as I told you guys, Yeezy Supply is kind of like its own entity. And the reason why I say that is because Yeezy Supply always does like this crazy uh shock drop every single time sometimes we figure out when they're dropping like if they're gonna drop an hour early two hours early times they can just drop in the middle of nowhere it'd be like three in the morning and they will have an online drop i literally do mean that it's been times they have dropped at like four three in the morning so um it's very hard to put your eye on that the good thing is if you're in any discord groups or anything like that a lot of people usually get a nudge on a time frame they might not know exactly when but they'll be like yo man yeezy supply is dropping probably from like three to five a.m stay on the lookout so it's definitely better knowing they're going to drop from 3 to 5 to not knowing when at all. You don't want to stay up from 2 in the morning and they don't drop to 9. Like the pair that actually came out, what was that? Uh, the 700 V3 that dropped last weekend, it came out at 9. I know some people, or, or was it 8? I think it was 8. It was 8 or 9. I, I'm not sure which one, but some people was probably up from 2 o'clock waiting. And they would just wait 6 hours, 6 to 7 hours on the shoe. They could have got some sleep, you know what I'm saying? Or they just could have known like what time frame to be looking. So those are a few things to know. Of course, everybody wants to know resale value of the sneaker. And of course, I will go to what's best, right? Where everybody else go to, StockX. So as of right now, the resale is not going for that much. It's actually pretty, pretty standard, okay? Uh, in my size, size 12, they're going for 320. Now the retail price is 220. So even if you wanted to buy these early right now, you'll just have to pay $100 over retail and ship it, you know what I'm saying? Which is not bad at all. And if you look at even the smaller sizes, that's how you usually know if a shoe's going for a lot. Smaller size is the same. Size nine is actually going for 300, so it's 20 dollars cheaper than my size. Size seven and a half is going for 320. Size 10 is going for 300, 10 and a half, 300, 11, 300. So you pretty much get a good idea what the shoe will be going for. It can fluctuate depending on how many is going to be out there, but I'm thinking it will be a lot. So you're probably not going to get rich off of buying two pair of these. Okay, it'll probably be 
a good shoe to trade, uh, one to stock, one to keep if you like them that much. But that's just about it if you ask me. But I mean, that's pretty much it on how to cop your Yeezy V2 350 linen. Uh, let me know if this video helped you. And also, if you want the how to cop on the Air Jordan 6 DMPs, let me know down below because even though a lot of people have that sneaker, it is still one of the most popular Air Jordan 6 to have dropped. And it's been pushed back a lot. So a lot of people are waiting to pick up this sneaker. And I can drop it for you if you want it. Last but not least, guys, make sure you follow me on IG. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 100K over here. Hit the subscribe button so you can't miss any more videos. And until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous. We're really putting in that work, though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big. <laughs>